Hi there, my name is Randall Sokoloff and uh, I work as a psychotherapist and a mindfulness instructor and also I write a lot about mindfulness and other sorts of things. Today I wanted to just talk briefly about something that um, this society tends to be really obsessive about and that is fixing things, always trying to fix stuff always trying to get better, make things better. This has become a huge industry with all kinds of uh, mental health professionals and self-motivation uh, teachers um, who are continually offering, I suppose I myself fit into this, uh, continually offering solutions, uh, ways to become more productive, more motivated, uh, more secure and safe within yourself, um, how to feel more at home within, how to achieve your dreams and accomplish things and feel more of a sense of purpose and meaning. And we live in a society where this has become quite a big business. Um, and if it helps people, that's great. Uh, I think personally that it can do more harm than good. Um, because when we are continually trying to fix things, when we are continually invested in this process of uh, self-repair, self-actualization, self-betterment, we're continually sending ourselves the message in, in the present moment that right now we're not good enough. And if we're continually feeling like we're not good enough in the present moment, that's like trying to build a house without a foundation. It's just not going to work. So in, or, in order for any kind of um, fixing to occur, any kind of real, tangible, lasting fixing to happen uh, within a person or, or for a person, first and foremost, they need to feel grounded and full and well and content in the present moment, in, in right now. And once they've created that foundation for themselves, then you can build upon that. Um, but it's almost impossible to build any kind of um, long lasting house on top of no foundation at all. So in, in my work, I blend mindfulness practice with psychotherapy in order to create, help a person create more homeostasis, more groundedness, more balance within themselves right now, not later. And first and foremost, what I'm continually offering to other people, what I'm continually trying to um, motivate people to practice is a practice of non-striving. There's nothing to achieve. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to improve. To just give up and renounce striving. To renounce trying to fix things. To put the self-help books away. To stop watching these kind of videos. And instead to just accept the, de the deck of cards that you were dealt Become aware of where you're at in the present moment and, and leave it alone. Let it be. If you have anxiety, if you have depression, if you're dealing with all kinds of psychological difficulties, to just stop trying to fix it. And just let yourself be present with what is and become aware of where you're at in the present moment and let that be, leave it alone and get on with living your life. So I know this is a difficult concept for people to put into practice because we've become so conditioned in our society to, to get more, gain more, achieve more. And fixing ourselves is another aspect of that conditioning. But honestly, I don't think it works. I've never met somebody who, who has said, I've finally fixed it. I've finally found it. 
if I have um, within a week or two, something else has come up and there's, there's another difficulty because being alive, being in a human body is not easy. And it requires that we just become better at accepting things as they are. Sometimes it's going to be good. Sometimes it's not going to be so good. Sometimes it'll be somewhere in between. And being able to accept things as they are. And then through our acceptance of where we're at now, what we're dealing with now, we kind of create a space. And it's in this space that the anxiety or the depression or the difficulty can begin to move through. And we can get on with our life. If we're always trying to fix it and find answers and, and, and figure it out, we, we can contract. And so there is, there is no space for it to move through. And when we contract, we just keep it in. And then we look towards... You know, all kinds of distractions to help us to feel better while we're in pain. So, I just wanted to give, give this little talk with regards to how to implement mindfulness in no longer trying to fix whatever is causing you duress, distress, difficulty. Leave it alone. Accept it. Just like when you play poker and you're dealt a deck of cards, you're, you're dealt a hand, you, you have, you, you pick up the hand, you look at it, you might not like it, but you have to accept that this is, this is what you were dealt. This is the hand you were dealt. And in order to play it well, or play it the best that you can, you have to accept it first, and then you can play it. So with regards to whatever you're struggling with, I really recommend stopping or ceasing the striving. Stop striving to fix things, make things better, and just learn how to be more present with what is. Accept it as it is. Warts and all, as the saying goes. And in doing this, you will create a space through which it can move through. And you might have to do this several times a day. You might feel not so great several times a day. And every time you accept it, create the space, let it move through. The more and more that you create the space, the less and less the difficulty will arise over time. So, See if you can quit fixing or wanting to fix things. Let them be. There's a saying, the best way to clear muddy water is to just leave it alone. It's when we go into the muddy water and try and clean it up that it gets all murky and muddied and even more clouded. But it's when we step back and leave the muddy water alone and accept that it's there, then it begins to clear. So, thank you for listening to this um, brief talk on mindfulness and uh, non-striving. Leaving things alone, let them be. Okay, thank you. Bye.